Well, it's important to understand that before 1910, you really didn't have very many sightings of UFOs. I mean, if I've done my homework correctly, I, I believe it was one every 50 years. Um, then you have Alistair Crawley, which is a fact, went around murdering children in the name of Satan, swearing he was opening doorways. Then you have suddenly UFOs everywhere. Thousands of cases worldwide. With By the 80s and 90s, millions of cases. But there was always these missing children, missing babies that were part alien and part human. It coincides with stories 6,000 years ago where fallen angels came here, mated with the humans, and God sent a flood and destroyed them because they were vile. They became evil, hurting mankind, a plague on mankind. This time they're back again, and they're doing the same thing. They're a plague on mankind. Actually, this time they really got right to it. Last time they waited, it took them a slow process. This time they just came out swinging on us. That's why theirs is going to end real soon. They have about 10 to 11 years. God will return by then. Punishment begins, and after that, it's eternal death. For us that believe in Christ, uh, no one knows who's saved. Only God knows. It's in your heart, and you go on forever to the blood of Christ. You have to repent, go the other direction, and follow all ten commandments. The reptilian race is now not giants. Now they're looking like us, and they're among us. And I hate to say it, but the truth, I mean, if I want to be honest, the truth is they are the ones that are behind everything you see that's vile. Behind every war you see, behind gang stalking, behind every blackmail, frame up atrocity, corruption in the top of the American government is well as low, lower levels of minions that are following orders like in gang stalking, which is a complete felony, by the way. It's illegal. And that, my friend, you can take to the bank.